Welcome back to the book review corner. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Beating the Street by Peter Lynch. Before we get into the book, I want to give a brief overview of who Peter Lynch is. He's a retired professional investor, still does investing on his own, a charitable giver and author of three books, one of which is the one we're reviewing today. The other two would be the one up on Wall Street and Learn to Earn. He's most well known for managing the Magellan Fund, which he managed for 13 years at Fidelity Investments. Over his tenure, he managed to have an average return of 29.2% on assets invested in the fund. Knowing this, he wrote Beating the Street as well as the one up on Wall Street from the perspective of an everyday American looking to invest in the stock market. His philosophy was that investing really is a lot more simple than people make it out to be. And that an ordinary investor with an average amount of know-how should be able to do quite well in the stock market. Knowing this, there are three key takeaways I had from the book. My first takeaway from the book is to invest 100% of yourself in whatever it is that you choose to invest. Whether you're investing in the stock market, or in a house, or in other money-related pursuits, or you're investing in personal development, such as education or physical fitness, you ought to put 100% of yourself wherever you are investing. This is in no way meant to contradict diversification. It's simply meant to say that you ought to put your best foot forward, put all of yourself towards whatever it is that you're pursuing. My second takeaway is to invest in something that you both know and like. If you know an investment very well, but you don't like it very much, the minute that it turns around, you'll be tempted to sell it. Or in other cases, you'll be tempted to get rid of it or go away from it if you're doing physical pursuits or, or personal development pursuits. Conversely, if you like something, but it doesn't make the most sense, you might put more towards it than you probably should and lose a lot more than you would otherwise if you're just taking the time to do your research. It's best to step away from all of the drama of the news because every day someone wants to tell you what to buy, what to sell, what to invest in, what not to invest in. And if you can step back and really align your investments with your values and what you have, whether that's in personal development or in money related things, you'll do a lot better in the long run and you'll be a lot happier. My final takeaway from the book is to not get spooked during downturns. This is the biggest part of investing in the stock market, but can also be applied to investing in personal development and physical fitness. When it comes to stock picking, there will be seasons when stocks are doing really poorly and everything in the market is going down and everyone says to sell, sell, sell. And in those seasons, you need a strong stomach to be able to wait it out. When it comes to physical fitness, there will be a season when it's really easy to lose weight and then there will be a stretch where it's very difficult to lose weight and it's hard to see any real progress and it's easy to just throw in the towel and give up. But that's the season where the real change comes, where the real growth happens. That's the season when you need to have a strong stomach to keep moving forward. Before we wrap up, I just want to say briefly also that this video is just meant for entertainment. It's not to be taken as investment advice that you should do your own research. In any case, those are my thoughts on Beating the Street by Peter Lynch, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing down below, and I will see you in the next video.